Hey, this is Go Takeshita. Welcome to my very first tutorial here on YouTube and also my very first video with audio commentary. Today I'll be teaching you how to create a very realistic CRT scanline effect in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS2. You can use whatever image editor you happen to have. Um, you can use a newer version of Photoshop. This should all work in any of those programs. Now this tutorial is going to be different from any of the other tutorials on how to create scan lines you've probably seen. What those tutorials normally tell you to do is just create a simple two line pattern that alternates between either transparency or black and white using a blend mode and all it does is create alternating black lines all over your image. It kind of looks like scan lines but in my opinion, it doesn't really look too realistic. What I'm going to teach you today will be much better than that. It'll look close to what an image would look like on a high-end Sony Trinitron tube that uses something called an aperture grill. First, I'm going to demonstrate the simplistic effect that most tutorials show you how to do. And then I'll be showing you my method, which is which in my opinion looks much better. Here I have a screenshot from Street Fighter Cross Tekken of Julia, who's my favorite character in Tekken. Capcom decided to nerf her for no reason, so I don't play this game anymore. The first thing they tell you to do is to create a new create a new document one pixel wide and two pixels high. I'm going to select the background contents as white. Now some of the tutorials tell you to select transparent, but it really doesn't matter. Say OK. Now this the image is going to be tiny, so you want to zoom in as far as possible. You go over to the toolbar and select the pencil tool. Make sure your foreground color is set to black. Now go to your image and you just click to make one black pixel. The next thing you want to do is define the pattern. Go to edit, define pattern. I'm going to name it simple scan line. Let's go back to our original image. Right now the, the background layer is locked. So we're going to select layer from background. You may or may not have this problem. Just to demonstrate this effect, I'm going to go, I'm going to right click on the layer, choose blending options, go to pattern overlay, and we're going to select the pattern we just created right here, simple scan line. I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply. Now if you leave the opacity at 100% it may darken your image a little too much so we're going to back it down to about 60%. Now this is the effect that most of these other tutorials tell you to do. On my screen you can barely see it and by the time this video gets up on YouTube you probably won't be you probably won't be able to see anything here at all. To make this effect more clear, I'm going to go back to Pattern Overlay and I'm going to increase the scale to 150%. Now you can see, hopefully you can see the effect a little bit better. Uh, they don't really look like CRT scan lines. Now on YouTube you might see some very weird effects 
you might see some color bleeding and that's just not to go into anything too technical but it's a technical issue on YouTube the way that YouTube compresses the color space on its videos now let's take a look at what real scan lines look like I have an image here metal slug that I got off the internet the camera is zoomed in so you can see close up what scan lines look like now you can see if you if we zoom in here you can see it's not just alternating black lines there's you can start to see the underlying structure of the pixels you can see here in this character's eyes you can see there's a little texture you can barely make out there's more there you can see the pixel structure that makes up the line and if you go down here this extreme close-up of the screen you can see that each pixel is actually a very thin vertical line and the scan lines are much thicker than each individual pixel what we want to do is to kind of mimic this in Photoshop I have another image here of I believe it's Indiana Jones from maybe it's from a LucasArts game now if you look closely you can see the pixel structure you can see the scan lines you can also see each individual pixel it doesn't look anything like the first effect that I showed you now I'm going to show you how to create my version of the effect go to file create a new document make it three pixels and instead of one pixel make it three pixels wide make it six pixels high and click OK once again zoom in what we're going to do is we're going to leave this pixel white because we're going to use the multiply blend mode and in multiply white will drop out and reveal whatever is underneath it and normally normally on a CRT screen the rest would be black but what we're going to do is we're going to mimic an effect called blooming whereby the pixel that's lit up will illuminate surrounding blackness it won't be pure black it'll be darker gray so right now we have our foreground color set to black we don't want it to be pure black we want it to be slightly brighter so let's select so let's make it about 30 percent now as we saw earlier the pixels on the Sony CRT are very tall rectangular pixels so to mimic that we're going to use two pixels on our screen so these two pixels right here where we're going to leave it white but everything else around should be black but since these white pixels are going to illuminate the blackness around it we don't want it to be completely black so the area immediately around this white pixel we want to be slightly brighter than black but then for the rest of the pattern we go back oops we go back to pure black fill the rest of the pattern with pure black now we're done once again go up to edit define pattern name your pattern I'm going to name mine realistic CRT scan line now let's go back to our original image I'm going to duplicate the layer I'm 
going to go back to pattern overlay. But this time, instead of simple scan line, I'm going to use the pattern we just created right here called realistic CRT scan line. It's way too big right now, so we want to bring it back down to 100%. Now the opacity is a little dark at 60%. So let's bring it down, let's say to 40%. Click OK. Now this is my effect. Now you can see it's a lot more than just simple black lines. I've tried to mimic the pixel structure of the CRT. I can see in Julia's skin, you can see there's much more texture. It's not just a flat color. You can see what look like individual pixels. In her shirt here, you can see a very nice texture, a very nice CRT-like texture. Same with Rufus and Zangief over here. Overall, I think it looks very much like a CRT. Now you'll notice if you zoom in, it won't look realistic. So you can see it just looks like polka dots, but at 100%, it'll give the if it'll give the impression of a very realistic CRT image. Now let's compare this effect with the original. Here's the second effect. Here's the original. Here's the improved effect. And once again, here's the original. I hope you'll agree with me that it looks much better than the first effect. <laughs> 